Hello and welcome, this is Stephen Dulcey, and today I have an unboxing video for you. I'm going to be taking a look at the RX-772 Gun Cannon Revival version, a high-grade Universal Sentry kit that was released by Bandai Japan in June 2015. This model retails for, for 1,200 yen and is number 190 in Bandai's high-grade Universal Sentry series. Now, you might be wondering, is this the same HGUC Gun Cannon from that I unboxed previously? No. This is a completely brand new kit. It is not the same as the original HDUC gun cannon, which came out in 1999. It is a brand new toy from Bandai Japan. It's a completely new toy. I picked this guy up off Hobby Link Japan with the original HDUC gun cannon. It was on sale for 960 yen, while the original, which retailed for 800 yen, was on sale for 640. With my order, I also got six high-grade customized campaign pieces. But I'm going to do talk about them later. And that's about it. So, on the box art, we got, we got a picture of the, um, the gun cannon with its beam rifle. Over there is the Mobile Suit Gundam logo for the original anime. This thing, I'm not quite sure what this is. It's a picture of the original... RX-782 Gundam from the original Gundam anime. Over here it says Bandai 2015 made in Japan. Bandai logo is over there. Gunpla 35th Revive logo. High Grade Universal Century logo. And that's pretty much it for the front. On the, on the bottom you have a little backstory about the, about the, the, the model itself. Over here you got pictures of the kit in in front and rear. You got it posing with its beam rifle, its cannons, hands, and you got a picture of it posing with its on its knee, sitting on its knees with aiming at, at an enemy. Pretty cool. You got pictures of the weapon and its gimmick, the pose of all the pose, the articulation on over here. You got three different choice of um of chest decals 108 109 or 203 I'm not gonna go with any of them because I don't really do decals on the side of the box we have we have the high grade universal century we have the the traditional gold on the side along with the number the number of the kit the high grade universal century logo and the logo of what anime the mobile suit is from you got the name of the the figure the toy in both English and katakana, Japanese katakana. Over there is the is a, is the Bandai BandaiHobby.net, and you got a picture that's based on the front of the box. On the top, you have the stats of the of the of the gun cannon. You got a picture, Gunpla logo, high grade Universal Century logo, backstory, SKU, price of model, whatever this ST thing is. It's made out of PS and PE, ages eight and up. And on this side of the and on this side of the um of the box, we it's just the same as the other side, except instead of saying BandaiHobby.net, it has it's, it says GundamInfo. Gundam.info instead. And like all model kit boxes, the box is of course blank. Like my soul. Okay, enough of the box. Let's take a look what we got. Okay, we have the red. The this is the um the this is the A plate molded in red. These are just these are basically parts of the arms, the, the torso, the legs, and the and the pelvis molded in red. And on this side we have the B1 plate, which is which are parts for the head, molded in this light gray color, minty, white. I'm not quite sure what color it is. But I want to say a, a white, but it has some kind of minty greenish tint to it. And we also have the D plate, which is molded in gray. As you can see, it's basically parts for the arms, the backpack, and the we the weapon, the hands. Well, etc.
Next, we have the B2 plate molded in yellow. These are basically parts for the chest, the crotch, and the, the beam rifle. Over here, we have the E plate, which is actually a translucent greenish blue color, and it's the cock, and it's actually the cockpit for the um the gun cannon. Yeah, on the original gun cannon, it was they gave a they Bandai gave us a metallic green decal. On the revival version, they give us an actual piece for the cockpit. And you also have the PC-002 runner, which is molded in gray. Just for polycaps. Last bag we get, we just get the C plates, which is molded in gray. These are parts for the for the legs. I want to say these are parts for the legs. You got the feet. Some ball joints over there. Parts for the for the cannons on its back. And it's, of course, a duplicate runner, meaning it's, t meaning it's two instead of one. And you have the decal sheet, but I'm not going to eat the marking seal, the marking decals, but I'm not going to use that because I don't care for decals, like I said, multiple times in my videos. Whoopsies. Whoops. Also, it comes with this, whatever this thing is, I'm not quite sure it is, I don't even care. But hey, maybe it's, it's for your phone or computer. Over here it says bandaihobby.net slash post slash IZDRS. Oh, it's the ad, that's the address of the website that is. Finally, we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet. Of the kit. Now, unlike now, this is actually larger. This instruction booklet is actually larger than the instruction booklet for the original for the original HDUC gun cannon. It's it feels like a flat magazine, a skinny magazine that is. On the front, you have the Gundam the web the address for Gundam info dot it for Gundam dot info, the Bandai logo, the high grade Universal Century logo, one to one hundred forty fourth scale. Bandai 2015 made in Japan, the picture of the model, the Mobile Suit Gundam logo, and the stats, and the name of the toy in English. You open it up, you open it up, and you get some pictures of the mod pictures of the model, and a backstory, the spec, and the specs. Specs and detail about the about the mod about the um about the right the weapons and over here you have parts for the instruction booklet which is molded in color over here is the parts this is the parts list and and believe it or not this kit actually has more parts than the original HGUC gun cannon I mean the original HGUC had like what what seven sprues this one actually has eight sprues believe it or not construction for construction you begin with the you begin with the body for the you begin with of course the body then you build the head the right arm then the then you build left arm then you build right leg and left leg, then you build the waist. Then you build the wet, then you put it together, you build you, you build the weapons. You can do it its gim its little gimmick thingy. And you can put it on a stand. And on the back of the box we have on the back of the instructions we have some we have some more picks pictures you got the color guide and of course the um the story pictures of the model doing its gimmicks and that's pretty much it anyways this has been my unboxing of the bandai 1 to 144 scale high grade universal century whoopsies rx 772 gun cannon revival version tell me what you think of this model in the comment section below and we will chat